Hi, this is Chef Paul coming from Gulf Coast State College and welcome to the Chef's Corner. Today we're going to be making a really simple dish that you and your family is sure to love. Today it's fettuccine alfredo from scratch. Let's get started. We need a few things. We're going to be using one cup of heavy cream. In the grocery store you'll see it also called heavy whipping cream. We're going to be using a good Parmesan Reggiano cheese and I'll show you that one a little later. Some fettuccine noodles that are already cooked and cooled salt and white pepper and that's it. So let's get started. We're going to be using a nice saute pan, something with a lot of surface area. It's pretty important that we have the surface area because what we're basically making today is a reduction. Our heat source I'm going to be using today is called an induction burner. This actually cooks with magnets. It's pretty cool. It doesn't put off any heat. It's a very safe way to cook and you can actually find these for your home now. So let's get started. This is a classic northern Italian dish where cream is king. So we're going to turn on our induction unit and add our one cup of cream. Now basically what we're trying to do is reduce this cream. And what we're going to look for are a few visual cues that are going to help us know when our cream is done. As the cream comes up to boil, what's going to happen is you're going to see tiny bubbles. And the tiny bubbles are going to start around the rim. You want to be really cautious because it will boil over if you're not careful. But we're watching these little bubbles and as the bubbles begin to get bigger and bigger, that's how we know when the reduction takes place. So I'm gently going to turn this up and I'm just going to swirl the pan a little bit so it starts to heat up. As it's heating up, let's talk about some of our other ingredients. First, let's talk about the pasta. Now our pasta is pre-cooked fettuccine noodles. Now when you're cooking your pasta at home, please stop adding oil to the water. It really isn't necessary. All you're doing is making oily water. What we want to do is we want to make sure there's enough water in the pot that we're cooking so the pasta doesn't stick together. We want the pasta to tumble as it cooks through convection. And that's what's going to give us pasta that doesn't stick, not oil. Now after we've cooked the pasta, then we want to wash it, cool it, and shock it so it stops cooking. At that point, if you want to add a little butter or oil to it so it doesn't stick together in the fridge, that's fine. But again, stop putting oil in your pasta. Now what we're going to do, if you'll notice, we've got our bubbles are just starting to happen. And I'm going to let that start boiling and talk about the other ingredients. Plain salt, just plain table salt, fine table salt. And today I'm using white pepper. And white pepper is really important because what it does is it doesn't add black flecks to your sauce. And then finally, grated Parmesan Reggiano cheese. This is really good cheese from Italy. It's important to know that the good Parmesan cheese will make your Alfredo sauce even better. All right? So if you'll notice, we've got bubbles happening in our pan here and it's starting to foam up a little bit. And that's fine, we're looking for that. And what you're gonna see is the bubbles are actually quite small. But as it cooks, the bubbles are gonna start getting bigger and bigger. And basically what's happening is you can see all the steam coming up and that's the water being cooked off of this heavy cream. Heavy cream is actually about 36% fat. Um, there's a high moisture content to it and what's happening now is that all is all cooking and steaming off. And if you'll notice in the pan, the bubbles are getting bigger. So we know that because the bubbles are getting bigger that the reduction is taking place. I'm going to let this go for another 15 or 20 seconds and you can see just how fast and easy this is. We're going to add our salt and pepper. Now, salt and pepper are a, a personal preference thing. You can add as much or as little as you want. Just remember, if you use a really good Parmesan Reggiano cheese, it is going to be quite salty. If you'll notice, the bubbles are getting to be about the size of dimes now. And we're almost there. We're going to shake the pan a little bit. That helps knock that, those bubbles down. And you can see they're still quite small, so we're going to give it a second. I can go ahead and add my salt. Pinch of salt a little bit of pepper, not much. Give my pan a stir and now you can see the bubbles are really starting to get big. And that tells us that our reduction is taking place. It's as simple as that. 
Now I'm going to add the cheese. If you can notice, I've got some big bubbles around the side of the pan. I'm going to add the cheese. And you know what? You can never have enough cheese. Never too much. I'm going to add this in. And boy, if you could be here in this room right now, you would really smell how wonderful this is smelling. I'm going to give this a stir. And you'll notice that the sauce is actually really sat down. It's getting thicker, and it's almost getting a tiny bit of a yellowish tinge to it. That tells us that the cheese is melting. And you know what? Let's just add a little bit more cheese. And if you look, you can see that the sauce is actually getting thicker. Guess what? Your fettuccine Alfredo is 99% done. We're going to add our pre-cooked noodles. Now, that's the neat thing to do. Just pre-cook them. Put them in the fridge. Add them to the sauce. And we'll let the sauce heat up the noodles. A good pair of tongs is something that every kitchen should have. We'll toss these in there. You've got your plate standing by. Plate them up. Turn your heat source off. We'll put a little bit more cheese on top. And there you have it, fettuccine alfredo from scratch. Anyone can make it. What's nice is you can add things to it. Diced up chicken, some fresh gulf shrimp, some great bay scallops, almost anything you want. And there you go. And dinner's ready. Thanks a bunch, and we'll see you next time on the Chef's Corner with Chef Paul.